533 plus 129 plus 722 minus 310 plus 416 plus 453 plus 775 plus 226 equals 580 plus 557 minus 395 plus 105 plus 460 plus 452 minus 324 plus 304 equals <gasps> Can you do this? <gasps> what about this? Well, your child can. How? Introducing Abacus Mental Math The Soroban Abacus originated in Japan. The Japanese derived their abacus from the Chinese abacus, changed it to a 10-bay system, and perfected it to the fine art it is today. 1,617 plus 1,106 plus 4,745 plus 2,435 plus 3,057 plus 1,943 plus 2,997 equals. The Soroban is the only abacus that is used to do anzan. This is because it is the most concise abacus that can be used to calculate the largest quantity of numbers, making it far superior to any abacai for children 5 and older. Originating in Japan, the Japanese abacus quickly spread to the Asian world and has gained popularity worldwide because it's so effective at teaching math and mental math at that. When a child is young, mama says, this is blue, this is red, this is circle, square, tiger, bear. After enough exposure to the language through written and visual form, the child picks it up and can imagine in that language. If I showed you this, and I asked you to imagine it, you could, right? If I showed you this, and I asked you to imagine it, you could. Why? Because you know what blue looks like. You know what an elephant looks like. You know what chase looks like. You know what a white mouse looks like. And therefore, you could imagine it. You didn't memorize that sequence when you were learning English, but you have the building blocks and recall to create any sequence I throw at you. Now. I'm gonna trick you. Ready? Imagine in your head, una lagartija amarilla. Come again? Una lagartija amarilla. Okay, so how come you can imagine a blue elephant chasing a white mouse, but you can't imagine una lagartija amarilla? Easy, because it's Spanish for yellow lizard. So does that mean you can't imagine a yellow lizard? No. It means you don't know what lagartija amarilla looks like, and therefore you can't imagine it. Once I teach you what amarillo is and what lagartija is, you can now imagine una lagartija amarilla. And for those who speak Spanish, well, visualize this. In language, when we see words, as soon as that data hits our brain, we switch it to a picture and we see a little movie play out of the story we are reading. But with math, when we see an equation, we still visualize the digits because of the way we learn math. We cannot see a picture of math because we don't have that recall. We were never exposed to it. When we hear the equation 536 plus 840 plus 495 plus 924 plus 809, we see this. We don't see this. 536 plus 840 plus 495, plus 924, plus 809, equals 145, plus 788, plus 713, plus 912, plus 492, equals 848, plus 818, plus 455, plus 611, plus 545, equals 305, plus 256, plus 456, plus 404, plus 262 equals. Therefore, for us to make a picture, it is much more difficult than for our students. They can see it and they know it. It doesn't matter which way you look at it. Math is a left brain activity. Anything that deals with math, science, logic is a left hemisphere task. The right hemisphere deals with things such as music, art, imagination. 
the only way to get the brain to use the right hemisphere in order to make our math easier and faster is to use the pictures. The only way to use the pictures effectively is to use the Sotoban. When our students learn to use the Sotoban, at first, they are simply learning how to use the tool to calculate. We are understanding the connections between the numbers and how they work together to compute and equate. All by itself, the brain is taking pictures of what they are doing. Within 13 lessons of using our program, kids can begin to do Anzan, the Japanese word for mental math. They can now visualize everything we have taught so far. This is not something we do, but a natural process the brain does. What's incredible about them now visualizing the abacus is that they're still using logic to carry out the calculations, essentially activating both the left and right hemispheres. Now, the Japanese use three pathways to practice this skill. They use reading, very much like we do when we read numbers, our students just process the numbers differently. Kind of like reading English or Spanish. You're still reading, you're just reading different code. They use listening. From the very beginning, the Japanese trained the auditory pathway for math. This is very important and something we miss in our math training growing up. If I were to ask you what 987 plus 876 plus 567 was, and I took your phone away, no phones allowed. You would say, easy, pen and paper, and I'll give you an answer. That is because we were taught to read math, not hear math. For us, to hear math is a much more complex task. For our students, it is not. 8,060,918,507 plus 7,201,292,575 plus 3,069,010,796 plus 2,194,521,765 plus 8,852,586,770 equals The third pathway in Sotoban training is Flash Anzan it looks something like this. Three, two, one, two. <laughs> this is way easier because it's complicated. This is possible because as humans, we learn through our senses. When we see, we know. When we taste, we know. When we touch, we know. We store this knowledge in our brain and the more knowledge we have, the smarter we are. It is very simple. When our students are doing flash anzan, they're using their ability to see and know. When the numbers reach the brain, they can easily translate them to a picture and compute at incredible speeds. The heart of Abacus training is whole brain development. The bonus is incredible math skills. Not only can the Sotoban Abacus help children develop sharp mental math skills, it also helps stimulate whole brain development, making it an ideal brain training program. You should now have a brief nutshell picture of what Sotoban Abacus is and how it's possible for your child to do this. Three thousand two hundred and seventy nine minus two thousand and eighty three plus five thousand three hundred and forty minus four thousand three hundred and ninety six plus nine thousand and thirty eight plus five thousand four hundred and thirty nine plus one thousand nine hundred and seventeen equals. Abacus Mental Math is a powerful tool to teach kids math. It is empowering both for children and their parents. But what Abacus Mental Math is not hmm? is a quick fix. Abacus is not a let me teach you a quick math trick and you will be incredible at math. Anything that is worth something costs something. While the results you get from Abacus in contrast to what it takes to learn regular math methods leans far more towards advantageous and easier to learn than not, Abacus is still a skill you need to develop with time and consistent practice. If I told you, I will teach you to read in Spanish, but you never show up to class, you miss practice lessons, you don't practice pronunciation, you will get the results you put in. The same goes with Abacus Mental Math. In fact, 
because this is the way we learn and the way our muscles naturally function, the same is true for anything we want to learn in life, including traditional methods of learning math. But if you follow the program lesson by lesson, at least one week at a time, and stay consistent throughout the training, you will achieve results in your child you didn't think possible. The reason? Abacus Mental Math works.